Hello, hello, hello. Hi, my name is Panji Barnes. I am the founder and CEO of the company Little Owners. And today we're going to be reading Valerie the Vendor. Our company is a company that focuses on exposing and educating children to entrepreneurship as well as financial literacy. So our book series is about eight different books um, about different entrepreneurship paths. Today we'll be reading Valerie the Vendor, which is a very popular book that parents love as well as children. So I hope you guys enjoy reading the book with me. The book is available. Valerie the Vendor is available on Amazon as well as www.littleowners.com on our website. And so I'm going to go jump right in and read the book. This book is dedicated to my mom, Valerie. All that I am or hope to be, I owe to my mother. So this book is dedicated to my mom. That's her name, Valerie. Valerie was a very smart girl that loved to find different ways to earn money. So this is Valerie. So she's just thinking about different ways to earn money. She did chores at home and even sold Girl Scout cookies to make extra money. She was saving for an iPad. So this is Valerie. She's saving for an iPad. I know many of you can relate. If you're a little girl out there selling Girl Scout cookies, um, most people love Girl Scout cookies. On the weekends during the summer, Valerie had a very successful lemonade stand. All of the neighbors and kids would patronize her delicious homemade lemonade. So she's very enterprising. So you can see her little homemade lemonade stand and one of the things through our books is that we really encourage like work ethic hard work leadership those are some of the things that we um definitely you know um that's a theme that you'll see throughout our series um another thing is delayed gratification so you you can see that you know she's earning money so that she can buy what she wants um she's not you know very she's frugal with her money she's you know saving for an ipad and she's doing different things so she can earn it and um, she can be proud of that. So her father saw her commitment and dedication to earning money for things that she wanted. So her dad is very proud of her, see? So he's very proud that she is such a good um, kid that she wants to earn her money. One day, Valerie and her parents were leaving the store and she asked to buy bubble gum from the vending machines. And I know parents as well as kids, we've all had that, you know, experience where a kid wants to buy something from a vending machine. They gave her a quarter and she received a purple bubble gum. So here she is. She's getting a quarter from her parents to buy some bubble gum from the vending machine. In the car ride home, her parents explained that she could own a vending machine and make passive income from her other kids buying the bubble gum. So another thing, thing that you'll see throughout our books is that we have vocabulary uh, words and they're highlighted and they're financial like vocabulary words because we think it's important that children learn these things early so they don't have to go into adulthood not knowing these things. So you'll, you'll find that throughout our books as well as we have vocabulary highlighted throughout the book. But then when you go to the back of the book, all the definitions are there so the children can really familiarize themselves with these words. So another thing I liked about um, what we wrote in this book is that they gave her the quarter, but they also explained to her in the car ride home that this is something that she could do and earn money. I think sometimes um, we miss teachable moments as parents, especially those financial teachable moments where we can teach kids that, hey, you can do that too. So I love the fact that, you know, in the book, it tells, talks about how, you know, she's eating the bubble gum, but her parents explain to her that you can have your own vending machine and you can earn passive income. And kids' passive income is just income that you earn without actually having to work for it every day. So as a real estate investor myself, I earn passive income because I have a rental property and tenants 
pay me to live in my property. And so that's one way of passive income, but vending machines, ATM machines, those are also other ways of earning passive income. So that's another really important thing you should have as you become an adult is pass find ways to earn passive income. So um, these are her parents having that conversation with her in the back of the car. Valerie was so excited to hear that she could own a vending machine. So you can see her enthusiasm. Look how happy she is when she learned that, oh my goodness, I can actually, I can actually earn, own a vending machine. So Valerie set a new goal. She no longer wanted an iPad. She wanted to save to buy a vending machine. She took an extra, she took on extra chores to earn money. She saved the, the amount she saved half the amount needed and her parents gave her the other half. So her parents gave her the other half that she saved to purchase the vending machine. I like that. I like the fact that, you know, they were able to assist her with her purchase. And also she has that, you know, um, she has pride in the fact that she also helped purchase it. So I think that's a really great way to go. Um, that's how we're going with our kids. We're letting them save half and then we're going to match what they have um saved and then we can purchase it so this is valerie and she is doing extra chores around the house so she can earn money so she can um, pay for half of the vending machine so. valerie was so excited to own her first vending machine she placed the vending machine in a store valerie's parents helped refill her vending machine with snacks beverages and manage her vending machine every week so this is like a little mini job because she has to go, um, depending on the foot traffic of where the vending machine is placed. She has to go every week and she has to refill her snacks and her drinks so that she can keep continuing to earn passive income. She used the profit from her first vending machine to buy another vending machine. So once again, we have profit highlighted in there as well as the definition in the back of the book because you want children to understand, um, even when you have like a little lemonade stand, you need to understand what um, profit is. So um, that's another thing that you'll see throughout our books. So this is her and she's reloading. She's reloading the vending machine. So you can see that, really cool. At 25, Valerie owned dozens of vending machines and she placed them in stores, businesses, offices valerie helped others who wanted to start their own vending machine business too so another theme that we have uh, throughout the book is mentorship we really believe in encouraging people and um, encouraging children to always um give back so when you um can help someone else you need to help them we think that um that's really important is that we stress mentorship in the book um, because we we know that it takes a community and it takes you know um, people to help other people to become successful so we want to encourage children to reach back and help somebody else once they've made it so as you can see that is Valerie and she is very proud and she owns t um, all of these vending machines and she's only 25 years old but she has accumulated all these vending machines and it's passive income so this is definitely something children can do and you guys can start um, my children are looking forward to starting their vending machine business so I, I would love to talk about our experience um, once we complete that um, but if you are interested in the book and that's the end of the book once again vocabulary words in the back of the book and if you're interested in the book, you can definitely check the book out on littleowners.com as well as amazon.com. And I really enjoy reading the book with you guys. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. You can find me on Instagram at little underscore owners or Facebook at little owners. And you can always email us at info at littleowners.com. And we would love to, you know, figure out how we can assist uh, and so I hope you guys have a very great day and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.